Hi there, I'm Janelle Hom, Executive Director for your local American Lung Association, and I am here with my friend Deanna Vigliota of CENI. Hi, Janelle. Always fun to uh, be talking with you. I know we are together this morning to talk a little bit about physicians and clinicians and providers and PAs and MPs and how COPD and urinary incontinence are actually have some common ground. I was curious to learn a little bit more with how you are navigating seeing physicians and getting information about COPD into the uh, clinicians. Absolutely. And it's so important for our first line medical community, whether it be our physicians, our PAs, respiratory therapists, um, anybody that is dealing with these patients to be in the know on how they can positively impact COPD patients. And knowing that there are millions of Americans dealing with COPD, it's a lot of information that's out there. So we really navigate in two different ways. The first is that we want this community to know that they can turn to the American Lung Association as a resource that not only for education for themselves, but to provide education to their patients and their caregivers. We know that their time is extremely limited and especially in times of COVID, they've been pushed to the edges as far as what their what time in the day allows for. So we provide literature, we provide information on COPD and other lung diseases. So ultimately, we want these people to know that they can turn to the Lung Association to help to fill those gaps on what they can't take the time in the office to explain. What is COPD? How do I properly use my medication? How are ways that I can improve my quality of life? That's where we can really come in, whether whether it's with a pamphlet or being directed to lung.org to be able to learn a lot more. The other big area is that kind of like we've talked about before is that we're constantly learning. And that's one of the fun things about our different professions. And the American Lung Association is here to provide that education on the hottest topics around COPD and lung disease to our frontline healthcare professionals. There are a lot of different opportunities throughout the country to earn CEUs, CMEs, and really Really be on the, the latest and hot topics around lung health and COPD. But I'm going to turn that back to you. How are you helping to educate these physicians and frontline healthcare professionals? You know, it's interesting. Similar to you, we understand what time constraints that they do have. So what we like to do, very similar, provide education, serve as a resource. We're seeing in our country a shift to value-based care. And so our messaging really is, boy, if we can get pamphlets out, if we can get literature, if we can get free semi adult continence product out for them to provide their patients that need those, we are actually helping, obviously helping their patients, but we're also helping them provide that care that has shifted to more value-based. So, but you're right, it's, it's difficult to navigate their time is limited, but just like you, when you have an important message to share that is for the greater good of them helping their patients, I do think that there are ears out there that that do listen and do find that that ever so slight couple of minutes to talk with us and be able to help their patients. It's such a urinary incontinence is interesting because it's such a widespread challenging issue, but nobody really wants to talk about it. And so it's just a matter of the right message messaging and the right help and and guidance. And and I love the fact that we found that connection with COPD because to be honest, I know I personally did not realize what a large uh, demographic, I think it's over 6, 6.1 million people in our country that have COPD also with a formal diagnosis of urinary incontinence. That's a lot of people. It really uh, is. And it's, you know, I know for the medical community, it may be a little more of a natural, like, oh yeah, that, that is a thing that exists. Perhaps this may be a good reminder that as you're talking to your patients that may be dealing with COPD is to ask about urinary incontinence and maybe the other way around that it can help to improve diagnosis rates and then be able to provide that access to education, treatment, and better quality of life. Totally agree with you. Yeah. In fact, I was speaking with an area, Greater Orlando a pulmonologist recently, and I wrote, doctor, are the, the folks that are challenged with COPD and urinary incontinence, you know, is it something that's talked about? And he wrote back, no, it's really an underserved, but it's not completely talked, but it's an underserved population. And I I love the idea that we're trying to both bring awareness to that to uh, help folks at the end of the day. 
Absolutely. And our, our frontline healthcare professionals can help to lower that stigma and normalize that conversation. Absolutely. Agree with you. So here at the American Lung Association, one of our biggest missions or um, action items from our mission is to help prevent people from going to the ER, that they can live normal, healthy lives, they can prevent their COPD exacerbations, and ultimately stay out of the hospital. That's so important, especially for that quality of life. But I understand that from your perspective, there's a whole other area of preventing people to go to the ER. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I'm guessing you're probably referring to falls because I know I'm like a broken record of trying to help people reduce the risk of falls. But we, um, part of our mission with features of our SENI products is they really do help reduce the risk of falls, which if my statistics are right, I believe it's the number two reason why older adults end up in the ER due to a fall, which leads to quite often, unfortunately, negative outcomes. What we want people to do is to using the SENI products, sleep through the night, wake up more alert, more engaged. If they're sleeping through the night, they're not up, which is when typically older adults um, have the falls. And that keeps them out of the ER. And if you really think of it, it actually, we, we all scratch our heads and say, my goodness, how do we reduce hospital admissions and hospital readmissions? A lot of those admissions are due to falls. So if we can go back sometimes to just the root core or the root cause, I should say, of, of wearing a quality incontinence products, sometimes it's just that simple that those can eliminate the falls, which eliminate the trips to the ER, which eliminate the hospital admission, which eliminate the hospital readmission. So it's all like a ripple effect. You can either go negative with it or positive as far as that goes. But I also wanted to ask you too, uh, Janelle, you have so many resources. How do people, physicians in particular, get in touch with you? I know you've got a, a website, but actually your information, your team's information, what, what, what is the best way for you to be reached yeah. um, if they do need additional information? Absolutely. We're always happy to connect with physicians and provide them with these free resources. Again, our website is lung.org. It's a plethora of information. If you want to reach us at our local Orlando office, you can reach us at 407-425-5864. And staff member will always be happy to connect to you. And I was going to ask you, you know, I know we've talked in the past about at our Better Breathers Clubs that some of these patients can get some samples to try these before they buy them. Is that something that they can also get from their physicians or does it work differently? You know, we are happy to help any physicians that want product samples. We'll ship them to the office. They can give them out. They can provide us with folks if we get their permission. We don't want to violate any HIPAA laws, but if they give us permission, we can ship samples out to people. Physicians for us are more like a referral source, if you will, guiding people to SENI products and certainly able to help actually on our website, which is www.seni, S-E-N-I with a hyphen, USA.com. If they click through, they will see a part on where they can order a free sample and we've got names and, and numbers and contact information. A lot of valuable information too, just about different incontinence challenges and not just products. I mean, the products are all listed, but it's a valuable resource. So we're always happy. Happy to, happy to help. Absolutely happy to help. I think this was a great conversation and a good refresher for maybe our frontline healthcare workers who may be listening today of refreshing that conversation and, you know, really being able to connect with their patients and care for them as a whole. I agree. I agree. I think for the greater good, the more education, the more we know, the more we can help. All right. Well, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you, Janelle. Happy to be here.